Guest Chef is sponsored by Acorn Grill. It's Wednesday, which means it's Acorn Grill Wednesday. Hey, Blair. Hey, Hazel. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. So right now, Acorn Grill is closed for the holidays, so how does it feel to have all this time off? It's pretty nice, actually, but I kind of miss the hustle and bustle of the business. So. I bet you you do. What are we cooking today? We are cooking a 32-ounce porterhouse steak. This is a big steak. It is a big steak. This is a big boy. Okay, for folks that may not know how to cook a proper steak, you are going to show us. Well, with something this thick, it's really hard to get a good cook on it on a grill. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. So if you cook it in a hot pan, make sure that it's really hot before you put it in there. Okay. So this, their butter was already melting in this pan. Yeah, I have already got it hot. And okay. you want to render the sides of it. I don't have tongs, but... So just, render means on the side? Yeah, the sides render first. the fat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that gets a good sear on it. Now, as this is going on, can you, like, flavor your butter, or... Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know, you know, I try to watch these cooking shows and stuff and try to learn something, but I don't know. So what's going on at the restaurant when you guys open it? Are there going to be new items on the menu? Well, we won't have any new items, but we have a couple of newer items mm -hmm. that we have debuted a couple weeks ago. Like the burger? Isn't yeah. Is there a burger going on? The beef, it's a double, uh, double cheeseburger, two pounds of meat with bacon, cheese, chili, all sorts of good stuff on Oh it. my gosh. Now can folks get a big old steak like this at, at your... Uh, yes, we serve this daily. Oh my gosh, daily? Daily. Look at all that garlic. I love some garlic. I wish there was smell a vision right <laughs> Garlic now. makes the steak taste it better, really definitely. It really does. Oh my goodness. So you just put the minced garlic in, mm -hmm. and so now you're just... Basting it. Oh, this smells so good. So what about um, jobs? Because I know a lot of people, New Year's resolutions to be financially sound, look for a good job. I know Acorn Grill is amazing. You guys have great service there. What, Thank what you. kind of openings do you have? Uh, we do currently have openings for servers and cooks both. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so just all you have to do is just send the resume to you guys? And yeah, you can send it to us at Blair at acorngrill.com, or you can come into the restaurant and apply in person. Oh, my gosh. And you guys are delivering. Yes. How's that going? Going really well. Oh my gosh. I mean, and what I love is that sometimes you just can't make it into the restaurant, but you can order now online and then you guys just send it. I, I know it's a Sullivan um, area. area though. We actually have a pretty good radius that we deliver to. Really? Yeah. So. Oh man. Pretty much anyone within like the city. We go a little outside of the city limits. I, so I can get this. I can, I can have this to the to Not the delivered to the station. We don't go that far. Look how, okay, so when you are doing this, do you want to also season your steak while it's like rendering or basting yes. or cooking? Like, uh, Yeah, I put the um, garlic in with it. It cooks and gives it that flavor throughout. Okay. And then I don't put the garlic, salt, and pepper on it until after you bring it out. Really? Of the oven. Why do you do that? Just, it's... That's just your preference? That's just, yeah. Get out of here. Everybody does it different. I, you know, I'm all about the flavors and the seasonings. So, where can folks find you if they don't know? 418 and a half South Section Street in Sullivan. And they can order or check you guys out online. Acorngirl.com. And your Facebook. Facebook. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys are always up to date on your Facebook. So social media, you know, on it. And then the phone number, of course, is there on the screen. Blair. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. So while this is cooking, aren't you supposed to pop it into the yes. oven? Yes. Yeah. After you get a good sear on the steak, you put it in the oven at 450 until mm -hmm. it gets to about um, 120 degrees internal temperature because you want to bring it out and let it rest before you cut into it so it keeps the juices. See, people, that's the key. Resting. Yes. So put your feet up. Order from Acorn Grill. Blair, thanks so much for having me. Well, thanks thanks for coming out here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stick with us. We have plenty more to come on Good Day Live.